John chapter 5 records one of the most famous miracles of Jesus that took place when he healed the man at the pool of Bethesda. Today they have excavated the site and you can see exactly where this miracle took place. The Bible tells us that it was by the Sheep Gate and that in the pool there were five porches. Here today you can see the elaborate structure and down at the bottom is where the pool of water would have been. The excavations took place in the late 19th century and give us a glimpse into what it looked like back then. We can also see today on this site remains of churches that were built during the time of the Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire and the time of the Crusades. John chapter 5 verse 3 and 4 says that a great multitude of sick people who were either blind, lame or paralyzed and they lay next to the pool. At certain seasons the water would be troubled and it was believed that this was the result of supernatural power. It was believed that an angel would come down and stir or trouble the waters and the first person who stepped in after this would be healed of whatever malady they had. In order to accommodate the number of people who waited here, they built shelters next to the pool to shade them by day and protect them at night. Due to the large number of people who came by and the stampede that would occur when the waters were moved, there were many people who could not make it in in time and they came back day after day, month after month, year after year. That would all change for one man when Jesus decided to stop by Bethesda. There was a man who had been sick for 38 years and when Jesus saw him, he had pity on him and asked him the question, do you want to be made whole? This man was alone and friendless and in response to Jesus' question, he says that he has no man to help him to get into the water and that when it's troubled, others get in there first. Jesus simply looks at the man and says, rise, take up your bed and walk. This man exercises faith and it springs into action. His nerves and muscles are energized and he springs to his feet as an active man. The day that Jesus performed this miracle was the Sabbath and this would prove a problem for both of them. The Jews had created many laws that were not in the Torah about how the Sabbath should be kept and had made it a burden. Jesus wanted to remove these burdens and to make the Sabbath a delight and something that should be enjoyable. He then picked up his bed and was told off for carrying a burden on the Sabbath day. He told them that someone had healed him but he wasn't sure who. Later on when he was in the temple giving thanks, he saw Jesus who told him to sin no more lest the worst thing come upon him. He then identified Jesus to the Pharisees who the Bible record says sought to kill him because he had healed a man on the Sabbath day. Today it's a privilege to be able to visit this place where Jesus performed this miracle of healing. Bethesda means house of mercy in the Aramaic and we are reminded that Jesus was a merciful saviour. He is touched with the feelings of our infirmities and today he longs for all who may be ill either physically, emotionally or spiritually to reach out to him in response to the question, will you be made whole? Only in Jesus can we be made whole and may today we find healing in the power of his name.